it's good and Averlight, I'm going to run you through the basics of the different playback modes. If I want to record a state which involves these particular spots, I can choose a colour, I can choose a position, and I can put them into gobos. If I record that, I'm recorded by fixture for this example, onto this playback, then as soon as I fire this, it's going to get all of the LTP information ready and the fader is just going to control the HTP, so things like the dimmer. The LTP is the latest instruction taking priority, so that will be things like gobos, positions and colours. This is the standard mode zero, so that as soon as I get that, fire that playback, it is getting all of those LTP values ready as quickly as possible, but the fader is controlling the HTP. If I go into playback options and choose this particular playback, then what I'm going to do is go mode one, timed fade in, and timed fade out. This enables me to use the edit time soft key on this playback and put in a fade in and a fade out time. This means that I will be able to push this playback up as quickly as I feel like it, and it's gonna take that two seconds that I put in to fade into this particular playback, and that two seconds to fade out. If I change this to fade to fader, then what it's going to do is it's going to get ready all the HTP and the LTP values at the same time. So if I locate these spots so that I, you can see what I'm doing, then the more I bring this playback up, the more it is going to move the position and the color, but it's still going to get the gobos ready as quickly as possible. And you can see with that fade out time as well, it's still leaving the gobos in there till the last possible second. But if I put this playback halfway up, it is halfway in its correct position and it's halfway into its correct color. If I go into playback options again and say mode three, then this enables me to fire other playbacks on the console. Uh, let me just make one now. and I can leave this playback firing. With this set to mode three crossfader, what it's gonna do is it's gonna temporarily fade out any other playback values, and it's gonna get all of the information in this queue displayed. As soon as I bring it down, it's gonna crossfade back into the other state that's running. That was the basics of the difference in between recording playback modes. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I shall see you on the next one.